for those of you who don't think that you're qualified to run for office, that maybe, you know, you're just a normal, average, everyday person, listen to a few comments and statements made by our current elected officials in Washington right now. Oh, you're going to roll this one? This is great. Line. Yeah, my, my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and, uh, and capsize. Uh, we don't anticipate that. The, uh... I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. And the Eagles are so much better than the Eagles! Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids. <laughs> Uh, um, these folks are your elected officials, right? Oh my gosh. That's I, why, by, by the way, that's why when I say if elected, I promise not to serve. So. Seriously. I mean, in, in all seriousness, if you think an island is going to tip over or you say that an AR-15 weighs as much as 50 boxes, um, what are these 50 boxes that you would be carrying? I mean, are they like little tiny empty jewelry boxes? Maybe that's the same. And air is like six pounds. Who are these people and how are they, who is electing them? Well, these are their elected representatives. Here's my question though, Erica. So I was, when I was growing up, I was always taught it's two things. And I've been in politics a long time. It's two things. You have to be able to get out the vote and you have to have a good candidate. But when you yeah. look at, you know, the, the John Fetterman's of the world, right? Senator Fetterman. Oh. I mean, it, 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 no disrespect. If how Pennsylvania elected John Fetterman, I have no idea. He may be a very nice guy and I feel very bad, you know, the stroke that he's dealt with and, and him trying yeah. to go forward, but to have such lack of respect for the Senate and its customs to wear the hoodie and whatever. Um, and then you go through all these other candidates. It makes me wonder, maybe you don't have to be a great candidate. So for, for our listeners yeah. out there, you have this Congresswoman Kat Kamek running around the country looking for great candidates and we have a plan or they have a plan to get good candidates elected. And by the way, look at the governor's race in Louisiana, the governor elect Landry, Mm. Great candidate, great turnout to vote, low propensity voters, which is a whole conversation. Uh, so, yeah. So, you can get elected clearly if you're not a great candidate. But any of you are thinking of running, if you want to know how to run for office, call us. Call yes. me. By the way, I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do. My phone number is 603 892 3203. You like them apples. Wow. Call me. If you want to run for office in New Hampshire or anywhere around the country, and yep. we will put you in touch with the right people, whether it's Congresswoman Kat Kamek or other people, because what we someone need, in your state, someone in your state is people yep. who are running. I do want to go to one thing though, under the heading of can't believe they're elected and she's been elected like forever. So yeah. in your state of Texas, my favorite is Sheila Jackson Lee. She's the worst. She no, she's is my the favorite. Worst. <laughs> did, did you see what? Why? Because she's you, so terrible. Just, wait, wait. So, by the way, we're all racist now. So she was caught on audio <laughs> in a profanity-laced tirade <gasps> against one of her staffers. <gasps> and so, so wait. I just happen to have it right here. Oh, I as you would this. expect Robert to do. Good. So, let's see where this. Um, uh, so basically, oh, come on. I had it right here. It is in here somewhere. Oh, my God. For those of you who don't know Sheila Jackson yeah, Lee, she minute. represents the Houston second. area. She is a representative in the Houston area, so South Texas. Um, right. I'm not sure oh, exactly which district. I have did it. Space did it. And nobody knows a god thing in my office. Okay? Nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the Ovi Duncan Tell event 
that you gave me uh, for a so-and-so date at 7 is on the f***ing couch. Not to oh, Jerome Hansen. Okay? So when I called Jerome, he only sit up there like a fat, stupid idiot talking about uh, what the f*** he doesn't know. Okay? Both of y'all are f***ed up some f***ing F. It's the worst f*** that I could have ever had put together. Two god big f***ing children. F***ing idiots. Serve no god purpose. Ain't managing nobody, nobody's respecting them, nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing I mean, I mean. I, so in in three sentences, let's see. In three sentences, there was one, it was two, mostly swearing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> expletives, right? And this woman. So what has she been elected for? Like thirty terms? I mean, she's been there since she's older than dirt. She's been there forever, right? Ugh. But but come on. Now, what was her response when she was called out on this? Um, that whoever leaked it is a racist. You got that it. It's you got because it. she's a strong black woman right. that right. she's being targeted. She's only being targeted because of her race and her gender. <laughs> what? I just, well, um, I you know, so you just sit there and you go, if these people can be, I mean, these are your elected representatives, folks. No, we no have to be able to do better than this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, no accountability, no sense. If you think that you can't do a better job, uh, than the people who are currently elected to office, I am just telling you that you're wrong. These are not bright people. Many of them, uh, and many, many of them are, uh, but many of them are just your average ordinary Americans, you know, hairdressers, school teachers, uh, bartenders, uh, you know, there, there's no reason we can't have reasonably intelligent average Americans elected to office who, who will do a better job than the people who are currently there. I'm just telling you, get hey, these people is, out, get them out. This, look, we, Benjamin Franklin famously said that we tend to take, get the type of representative government we deserve. My comment to that is, ladies and gentlemen, we, you, all of us deserve better than that. And the truth is, if Mad Maxine, if Maxine Waters, my other favorite loony bin in Congress, if Maxine Waters can get elected repeatedly, even while she's up under investigation or the husband for, I mean, I mean, the graft. It just it, it's you know or grifting um made famous by the clintons of course uh it's just out of control so you just gotta wonder where are the good people who want to take this country back or at least good government what we want is good government yeah and and you want someone who's not there forever who goes does the job and comes back by the way that's why i live in new hampshire citizen legislature it's wonderful you should try it sometime. Term so folks, limits, baby. Term, ter term limits. limits. Um, actually, so I have a thought on term limits too. I actually think you should term limit Cong the, the House, but not the Senate. Because you need some institutional knowledge. Someone who's been there.